show me, tell me questions. As part of your driving test, you'll be asked one show me and one tell me question. At the start of your test, before moving off, the examiner will ask you the tell me question. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to perform the checks, but in your test, you're only expected to tell the examiner how to perform the checks. Question one, tell me how you check the brakes are working before starting a journey. The brake pedal should not feel spongy or slack. Test your brakes as you set off. The vehicle shouldn't pull to one side. Question two, tell me where you'd find the information for the recommended tyre pressures for this car and how tyre pressures should be checked. Tyre pressures can be found in the manufacturer's guide or inside the passenger door frame. To check your tyres, use a reliable pressure gauge. Check them when they're cold. Don't forget to check the spare tyre and remember to refit the valve caps. Question 3. Tell me how you'd make sure your head restraint was correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. The head restraint should be adjusted so the rigid part of the head restraint is at least as high as the top of the ears and as close to the back of the head as is comfortable. Question 4. Tell me how you check the tyres to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. Tyres should not have any cuts or bulges. They should have a minimum of 1.6 millimetres tread depth across the central three quarters of the tyre and around the entire circumference. Question five, tell me how you check the headlights and taillights are working. Turn the ignition on and then operate the switch. Walk around the vehicle and check all your lights are working. Question six, tell me how you'd know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system. A warning light saying ABS should illuminate and stay on if, if you've got a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Question seven, tell me how you check that the direction indicators are working. Press the hazard warning switch, and then walk around the vehicle and check all the lights are working. Question eight, tell me how you check the brake lights are working on this car. Explain that you turn the ignition of the car on, press the brake pedal, and ask someone to help and check the lights are working or you could make use of reflections in windows or doors. Question nine, tell me how you check that the power assisted steering is working before starting a journey. Gently pull down on the steering wheel while you start the engine. You should notice a slight movement as the system begins to operate. You can also turn the steering wheel just after moving away. The steering shouldn't feel heavy if it's working properly. Question 10, tell me how you'd switch on the rear fog light and explain when you'd use it. Turn the car ignition on, turn on the dipped headlights and turn on the fog light switch. Check the warning light comes on. Fog lights are used when visibility is reduced to 100 meters or less. Question 11. Tell me how you'd switch your headlight from dipped to main beam and explain how you'd know main beam is on. Turn the ignition on, turn the dipped headlights on, and then pull the stalk to turn the main beam on. You'd know main beam was working because the warning light would illuminate on the dashboard. Pulling the same stalk towards you will turn it off. You'll need to open the bonnet and tell the examiner how you'd do the check if you asked questions 12, 13 or 14. To open a car's bonnet, you'll first need to release the latch located inside the car. To lift the bonnet, feel underneath until you find the lever. Release this and lift up the bonnet completely. Now, lift the rod and secure it into the small holes 
on the underside of the bonnet. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check the engine has sufficient oil. Point out the dipstick. Describe how you'd remove the dipstick and wipe it clean. Then put it all the way in and out again. Then you'd check the oil level against the minimum maximum markers. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check the engine has sufficient coolant. Point out the engine coolant and the level markings at the side of the tank. Explain the fluid level should be between the minimum and the maximum markings. Open the bonnet and tell me how you check you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. Point out the brake fluid reservoir and the level markings on the tank. Explain the fluid level should be between the minimum and the maximum markings. Show me questions. During the test, as you're driving along, the examiner will ask you to show them how to carry out a safety task. For seven show me questions, each question the examiner will start with the words when it's safe. Before responding to the question, make sure it's safe and you're not going to miss anything. Look well ahead, is there any change in speed limits, sharp bends or large vehicles approaching? Check your mirrors, is anybody about to overtake you? Are there any cyclists or motorbikes about? Take your time to make proper checks. There's no hurry. Only perform the check when you're sure it's safe. Question 1. When it's safe to do so, show me how you'd wash and clean the rear windscreen. Pull the right hand stalk towards you till it clicks. Push it away to turn it off. Question 2. When it's safe, can you show me how you wash and clean the front windscreen? Push in the tip of the wiper stalk. Question 3. When it's safe, can you show me how you switch on your dipped headlights? Turn the dial, two clicks. Question 4. When it's safe, can you show me how you'd set the rear demister? Press the rear demister button and then turn it off. Question 5. When it's safe, can you show me how you'd operate the horn? Locate it in the centre of the steering wheel. Push till you hear the beep. Question 6. When it's safe, can you show me how you demist the front windscreen? Turn the fan on high. Direct it to the windscreen. The air conditioning will come on. Turn the heat up. Take your time to reset the dials. Question 7. When it's safe, can you show me how you'd open and close the side window? Press the button that's located on the door. Pull it up to close the window. I hope you found this video useful, but please remember all cars are different. You will need to check how to perform the safety checks in your car or your instructor's car, and then practice them so you're confident to perform them on your test.